Yeah, if you want to start creating content, again, see what sticks. Start recording your life. Obviously, the very boring parts of your life are never going to make for good viewing anywhere. But that's essentially what me and Andrew did. We started just documenting the things we did. Spending money, buying cars, going shopping. Then Andrew would talk about news topics. We used to call it offending what's trending. And this is about 10 years ago. So we'd find something that was prominent in the news and Andrew would rant about it and talk about it. And that turned out to be far more popular than us buying Lamborghinis or, you know, hanging around women and going to nightclubs and all the other stuff we were recording. It was these tiny little segments of Andrew ranting about current affairs that I think was the beginning of his rise to stardom. And now he's still famous for doing exactly that. That's essentially what the emergency meeting podcasts are. It's me and Andrew talking about what's going on in the world in our unique comedic way. So if you don't know what to do, record everything and see what gets views, see what goes viral, see what people share. I think people evolve over time anyway. The content I was making when I was 25, I mean, I still ran my webcam studio back then. I had no kids back then. I was just some young guy. I was making pretty decent money. I had a, two supercars and a rented house. I was doing okay for myself. But I think the content changed as I changed as a person, as I grew up, you can actually watch a chronological timeline of me growing up if you follow my content closely enough and you were to go back far, far enough and find all of my old videos. So I don't think you necessarily need to diversify purposefully. I think that it will happen accidentally anyway. If you are popular and if people do watch you, you do grow up and you do change and you do change your mind on certain things. And then your content becomes different. Obviously, when you're in a position like I am, people love to throw your old content back at you. Oh, you said this about women when you were 25. So? I was 25, fuck off, I'm 36 now. So uh, procrastination and hesitation are the enemy though. So whatever you're gonna do, I suggest you start today.